for this Viridian uh, expansion, I've been working on visual updates for the Empire frigates. In total, there are 68 of them, uh, and they all got beautiful updates except the uh, Rifter that was updated uh, last January. We decided to uh, update the frigate class uh, rather than the other class in the beginning because those ships are uh, widely used in the game, very popular. Basically, all new players start on those ships and we wanted to make sure that those ships were up-to-date and as beautiful as possible when they start the journey in space. What I'm most happy about is basically how we managed to bring those ships even better to life and that is achieved by tying the effects to what is happening to the ship. So many of those effects are tied to ship speed, the state, if it's going in or out of warp, and that gives uh, the player absolutely a valuable feedback, but not just for the player, but also the others that are looking at the ship. When making the new uh, missile impacts, we really wanted to focus on uh, differentiating them and making sure that each archetype really tells you what it is. So a thermal explosion will be, you know, it'll look a lot more like heat, uh, electromagnetic will, you know, have some crackling energy and, you know, lighting up the surrounding areas. Uh, of course, trying to make them beautiful at the same time, but making sure that, like, gameplay readability is much better than before. You should be able to tell it is what it is, you know, you can see, oh, they're attacking me with this because, you know, that's what it looks like. In this uh, Viridian expansion, we have actually, uh, well, well, we're delivering to the gameplay teams, uh, eight, you know, base clouds uh, with 43 uh, variations. So what are the possibilities with these new uh, volumetric clouds? Well, uh, this is really the first time we're bringing this kind of quality clouds uh, into the gameplay space. You know, EVE has always been known for you know, these beautiful background nebulas, and this is kind of the first time you get to almost that level inside the gameplay space. And uh, that will make these new uh, home front operations dungeons a much more uh, immersive and like, exciting and beautiful places to uh, visit. You f you really feel like you're passing by, uh, you know, these, these filaments of uh, cloudy bits and you know cloudy cloudy bits. And uh, this is then something you're actually like you feel a lot more that you're flying through them and around them, and uh, inhabiting the space of these clouds is just you know, it's a game changer honestly. So the main goals for us when we were updating the Marauders is to really kind of uh, help push the uh, the aggressiveness and the kind of powerfulness of these hulls when they enter their bastion mode, which is a module that can be fitted on the ships. So typically at the moment, you'll see that the ship will change state and it will animate and exposing like a reactor core to the to space. We really, really wanted to kind of push that look and that feel of power. So we've used particle effects, uh, a lighting pass on the hull, holographic panelling to really kind of push how powerful these ships are, especially when they change state and they're kind of doing extra damage to everybody around them. From a gameplay perspective, being able to see the ship when it's entered Bastion mode, even when you've just warped onto grids and you can see it, these will be a lot more noticeable. It's, uh, it'll have obviously a lot of a sharper, brighter image around itself, so you'll be able to spot it on the battlefield a lot clearer. And then obviously seeing the particle effects and everything kind of rolling off the ship. Yeah, you'll know what it's doing when, uh, when you're viewing it from afar. Anytime we receive any updated tools or any kind of enhanced uh, visual effects packages for, that we receive from our internal engine team, we'll be always looking to kind of roll these out across all the ships in EVE. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time and we're slowly working our way through them. But uh, yeah, rest assured, we'll, we'll get through them all eventually.